What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you again for tuning in and welcome to another video. As you can tell, we're doing stage two or part two of carbon fiber refresh in the interior of the M3. This will apply for the F80 or the F82. Um, and that is another product from IND. Uh, as you know, in a previous video, we changed out the dual clutch transmission knob to the OEM BMW performance one. And now we're going to do the exact same thing, the BMW OEM uh, performance carbon fiber with Alcantara, which I'm super excited about. This applies to the M2 competition, the M3 and M4, any car that has the dual clutch. Uh, it's the M Performance OEM console piece. So do a quick unboxing here and uh, get to the install, the fun part. The wrapping is always on point. Here we go. And see, this is, this is another reason why I I'm a believer and if possible go OEM. Don't get me wrong, I have non-OEM parts on my car, uh, like the Vorsteiner diffuser and uh, even the spoiler on the back, on the, uh, the lip spoiler on the trunk, but when it comes to parts that you're going to touch or see day in, day out, this is going to match perfect with the other carbon fiber, the uh, dual clutch knob and the console, but this Alcantara, I'm excited to have more soft touch materials in the car instead of the hard chintzy plastic. So there it is, and there's there's something just a little satisfying about actually seeing the OEM BMW part number on the product. And uh, I will put a link in the description just like I did in the previous video for the dual clutch knob. Let's get to it, let's put this baby in get things matching. Here we go. All right, so before we dive into it, as always, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use. I probably will use some painter's tape just as a precaution to make sure I don't put any marks on the um, side of the console we're wedging. A couple trim removal tools, whichever's the thinnest as possible. So probably we'll be going with that guy. And then a T10 Torx. Uh, so I have a T10 Torx because we will need to do that to take uh, a couple Torx out. And that is it, let's go inside. So I'm taking a look at this piece here and I'm thinking my best bet, there's a big gap in this top area right here. So I'm thinking my best luck will maybe to be kind of to pop it maybe right here. So hopefully that painter's tape will be good. Perfect, first try. So that's a, Whenever I have questions about which clips, which I've done on the outside, I will look at the new piece, see where existing clips are. Um, and like I said, it looked like there was a decent size gap right there. And so that's why I decided to put this here. So I didn't need all this other painter's tape, but I wasn't sure what I was gonna be doing. Um, now we're just gonna carefully lift this up and don't yank it up because your uh, shift speed logic button is here and there's some wires there. So just kind of carefully go around evenly, undo the clips, and then we can kind of lift up and go to the side there. And as you can see, we have our um, connection wires here. We're gonna unclip that and then we're gonna uh, disconnect our shift logic button as well. Little tab, pull back. And then just, there's these little channels here for the wires. I think we can get like a thin flat head for that. There's one. There's two. There's three. All right. And we'll obviously where you see those kinks is where we're going to put that back in the new one. Anyway, make sure everything's still connected. Now we'll get our T10 and remove the shift logic button. And just be careful not to drop it down there. So I will take this and I will put it in my cup holder. There we go. And same thing on the other side. All 
Alright, now that we got that out, uh, it looks like we got to remove this electrical part and there's just two little hook tabs that are keeping that in there. Alright, with the T10s out, there's the shift logic button removed. We can now take our chintzy brushed aluminum one with the chintzy hard plastic and just put that to the side. All right, so what you'll all we have to do is take this and clip this back in. Um, obviously the purple wires are gonna go that way. What you'll notice with this clip is that there's like this little channel groove. Um, you're gonna wanna put that little cutout right where this little channel is. So it should go something close to this. that all right that's snapped in um, obviously those kinks in the wires again we're gonna feed those through those uh, channels carefully what I might do is I might do the shift logic button first that way it'll kind of help me figure out which wires kind of went in which channels not that it's gonna super matter but it's one less thing all right so I'm gonna go get my t10 Torx make sure the holes are lined up All right, so with that screwed back in, the shift logic is in, that's clipped in. Now I'm just gonna go take these wires and push them down in their designated channels. Now, because I did this first, I can see this one is kind of really looped around and it looks like that's gonna go in its furthest one. So I'm just gonna carefully push that down in its channel. Boom, there's one. But it looks like I might've gotten another one in there by accident. Uh -oh. And I'm just gonna kind of carefully put that down there. All right, and boom. Three perfect wires in their channels. <clears throat> now it comes for the beautiful part. All right, at this point, to enjoy it in all its glory. I could have taken this off a long time ago. I don't know why I left that on there the whole time. And now, we just carefully turn this baby around. Get everything lined up. Oh, it's, it already feels so much better. Like, the soft touch material. All right button does button things. Here we go. Oh, yes. Yes. Wow. Look at that. That is... Oh. Yes. Soft touch materials feels it just looks more premium i am so happy with that let's go get some beauty shots real quick I am really digging the interior right now. 
like a lot like a lot a lot a lot it just it's nice when everything just fits and you you can't beat that with um the oem M performance so the interior looks it looks i've said this in other videos like there's things that you can do to make your car look masculine and I don't know, this area now just has been like enriched and it just, it looks masculine? I, I don't know. I'd, it's not that the brushed aluminum uh, isn't, but this whole area down here now looks really awesome. I love it, I love it, I love it. So good. There you go guys, another fun, cheap, easy to do mod. You just need a T10 um, and a trim removal tool and that whole area now, you know, below eye level where, you know, you look down, you touch, uh, it just, it's like, it has, it makes the car feel more expensive. There you go guys, if you liked today's video or you found it useful, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and if you haven't done already, please subscribe. I will catch you guys next time, out.